Let's discover all the new features coming to WordPress 6.9. This video is powered by Cloudways. If you want hosting that actually boosts your business results, better speed, better uptime, better conversions, Cloudways is the upgrade you've been looking for. You can choose top cloud providers like AWS, Google Cloud or DigitalOcean and manage everything from a clean, simple dashboard. No technical headaches, just reliable performance. Use my link below to grab their Black Friday offer. 50% off for the first three months. Plus, they're also offering free migrations if you decide to move your websites to their hosting platform. So this is the perfect time to switch to Cloudways. Don't miss it. And before diving in WordPress 6.9 features, my daughter has a favor to ask you. Please subscribe to my daddy channel. If you click on the subscribe button, you will be part of the small community of people that are watching my videos and are also subscribed. Congratulations. The first uh, very interesting new feature coming to WordPress 6.9 is the fact that now we can select any block and we can leave notes. Let me show you how this works. I'm on this text block, I select it, I click on the three dots icon and I click on add note. As you can see, there is this simple interface here that I can use and I can leave my note. And what happens now that if I add this note, the author of this blog post or of this page will receive a notification, exactly like the one that you see here. New note on your post, author, email, note. Change the color. And you also have a quick link to go and see all the notes. And now I log in as an editor and I see that there is also this quick link to all notes. I can enable this and I see all the notes that have been left to all the blocks on the page. I can open the note, I can reply, I can mark it as solved. I also have a quick link here to my notes, beautiful. And now let's talk about new blocks coming to WordPress 6.9. We now have a new accordion block that we can easily add if we want to create, for example, an FAQ section. When you open up the structure, you will see that there will be a main accordion block. Inside, there will be the first accordion item. Then you will have the heading and the accordion panel. Interesting is that inside the panel, you can add whatever you want, an image, a video, or whatever block you want to add inside here without limitations. You can add, of course, multiple accordion items just by selecting the main accordion and clicking on add item. Now, when you go back to the main accordion block, you will see that you have some settings here. For example, you can enable the auto close behavior. If you do that and you go and save, when you open an accordion item and then you open the next one, the previous one will be closed automatically like this. And if you disable this, they will all stay open unless you close them manually. You can then choose to display or not the accordion icon. In this case, this plus icon here, which in the future will be so good to be able to change it. And uh, we can change the position of this. And I really hope that they're going to integrate the FAQ schema inside this block. I was asking myself if uh, in this block they have built an FAQ schema markup to enhance SEO for our blog posts or for our pages, but this wasn't the case. So I found out a plugin created by Viney. Shout out to Viney, thanks for this plugin. And you can easily go and download this. I will leave you the link in the description box below. And when you install it on your WordPress website, you will find that your accordion block will now support FAQ schema. Who knows, maybe in the future it will be directly there in core. But for now, shout out and thanks to Viney for providing this for free. I really like the new stretchy text and heading blocks. If you're using a paragraph, you will notice that now you have this new option called transform to stretchy paragraph. When you select this, the paragraph will occupy all the space available in its own block. As you can see, the text will stretch to make the content fit inside the block. And the same applies also to headings. We have the simple heading and the stretchy heading. This will work great on hero sections and call to actions. You will also find these two stretchy blocks as a separate blocks so that you can easily add them to your content while you're editing. We also have a new block, which is the time to read, and this will integrate an estimated time to read your blog post or your pages. You can display it as a range or as a single estimation. And if you want, you can easily switch to another block, which is the word count. And of course, the word count exists as a separate block like this. This is just a simple switcher between blocks. I would love to have the ability here to add some text before and after this element. I hope that we'll integrate this in the next versions because otherwise I would need to transform this into a group make it a row and then insert some content before or after. Of course it works well, but it would be great to have it integrated directly in the block. 
There is now a terms query block, voila, and you can decide to display a simple list of, of terms. So for example, of categories or tags or any taxonomy that you're using on your WordPress website or even assign a count, a name and count to show the total number of posts belonging to that specific term. As you can see here, we have all the different um, options. So we can select tags, for example, or categories, because this is the only taxonomy that I have on my website at the moment. We can select them manually. We can decide to show empty terms, and we can decide also to show nested terms. In my case, I do not have them. For example, subcategories. Here you can decide to display a maximum number of terms or just leave it on zero if you want to display them all. And you can work on the template here just by opening up the structure and playing around with the design, for example. If you want to remove the term count, you can just do it safely and uh, there will be just a term name available in your list. There is also a new math block. So if you type math right inside here, you will see this block appearing here and you can use it to write formulas or whatever you want. You will see here a preview of the outcome and everything will be formatted for mathematics calculations. And you will also find this math block inside a simple paragraph. If you're writing a paragraph and you need to insert a, a mathematic formula, you just go here and you will find the math block right here. Now, if you need to create a new block and you don't want to display it immediately in the front end, you can use the new hide block functionality. You just head here and you click on hide. As you can see here, now we have this icon showing that the block is hidden. And when we save and go in the front end, this block won't be shown. It would be great to have it still visible in the back end, but at the time when I'm recording this video, when you hide the block, you won't see it no more, even in the back end. So to be able to edit it again, you just need to go back here, you make it visible again, you make your changes, and then you can go and hide it again. We now have another enhancement regarding the block editor. In the previous version, when you drag it and drop it a block, it will work like this. You drag, you see the old block with a fade out opacity, and when you drop the block, the actual block will move. Now this is going to work differently because when you drag and drop a block, as you can see, you're immediately moving the block around. I really like this enhancement. Now the command palette, when you type command K or CTRLK, it's available both in the site editor and in the default WP admin. And you can easily jump to any part of the website just by typing on the keyboard. I would love to be able to open up this bar even in the front end, but at the moment it is not possible. It would be great to see this work like an Elementor when you type command D even when you are in the front end and you can easily reach any part of your website just by typing with your keyboard. Developer and API updates. There are great news here. There is the new Abilities API, which is coming to WordPress 6.9, which is a unified registry of Calable WordPress capabilities built for AI integrations and developer automation. In the official Abilities API post, James LePage explained that by adopting this common language, plugins and themes will empower AI-driven solutions to seamlessly discover, interpret, utilize, and coordinate capabilities throughout the entire WordPress ecosystem. Basically, this is the foundation of what will be an interactive WordPress that we can manage using AI. I'm super curious to see how this is going to be developed in the next months. I'll leave you all the links in the description box below. There are then news regarding the interactivity API, data views and data form components, HTML API, block binding API, and a bunch of very important performance improvements. There is no default theme this time in the 6.9 version, so we're going to keep using the 2025 theme because now the focus is all on the site editor. Another important thing to notice is that the template management improvement that was originally scheduled for WordPress 6.9 has been punted to WordPress 7.0. With this new update, it will be possible to save multiple templates for the same purpose. For example, here we have multiple single post templates and it will also be possible to make them active or inactive. And with this functionality, it will also be possible to save and store all your templates regardless of the theme that you're using. So when you switch themes, you will be able to keep all your custom templates. But as they announce here, this feature has been punted to WordPress 7.0. I really hope that there will be the ability to assign different single template to different posts based on the category. For example, using Elementor on my website, I have assigned a different single post template to the post that belongs to the tutorial category 
as you can see, there is this template and I have created a different template to the posts that belongs to the reviews category. I really hope that they will ship this into WordPress 7.0. Let me know what you think about this new version of WordPress. If you have any thoughts or feelings that you want to share with me, please do it in the comment section below. Personally, I am excited and at the same time, I'm a little bit disappointed because I really love the site editor and Gutenberg in general, but I feel like there are always some tiny pieces missing to the puzzle to make it robust and usable in a real life business. Personally, I challenge myself each time there is a new release of WordPress and I try to rebuild my current website, wprose.com, using all the features provided by the site editor. But also this time, I must say that there are too many tiny little pieces still missing from the final puzzle. Maybe I will be able to do that with WordPress 7.0. Let me know what you think about this. Go and visit wprose.com and tell me if you would be able to build it using mainly the site editor. I will leave you here one of my latest videos. My name is Pascal, this is WP Roads, and I wish you all the best with all your WordPress projects. Take care, ciao ciao!